to now. Rob, great to see you. Give us your reflections on Bob Barker and Icon. Well, first of all, I just we all remember watching him with our parents, and he was just this guy. You were. It's important to like when you're watching TV, you can just relax and see this guy. This is Bob Barker, a guy you invite into your into your bedroom. I mean, the bedroom, sorry, into your living room with uh, with everybody. And uh, we just, it was so fun to see him doing something you would never expect punching someone in the face and swearing. <laughs> so that was a, and it was just so, it was, and Ad, I think it was the best use of a famous person ever in a movie. I think Adam did great, you know, and it was, it was fun for us to, to, to watch. And, but the thing that really struck me when he said, um, when he was talking, when the movie came out, he said like, I, hey, I didn't move to Hollywood to be a, a game show host. I moved to be an actor. This is something that happened. So I can really, you know, you can, I really feel for the guy. Like <laughs> he always wanted to be an actor and this is like the one shot and he was genuinely grateful to him. And then um, years later, they did another one uh, in, uh, in the hospital, which is also really funny. That was a charity uh, event that they filmed, which, you know, so I really think that he could have been a movie star. He ended up being a star for us, for people watching with their parents from their, in their house with uh, the family and being a superstar at that, but I, I get it. Like he wanted to be an actor, and it was really nice that uh, uh, that he got a chance to do that. And that's a such a hilarious scene. That's a really funny movie. Maybe Adam's funniest movie. And uh, but and that's pro that's the funniest scene. That's the big laugh. So yeah, I was I'm so say, glad Rob, that he got to actually have his dream. He he seemed like a really good actor. I mean, he had great comedic timing. It's hard to believe he hadn't had a chance before then. Um, he also seemed like such a class act. Anything you want to talk about with regard to, to that sort of old, I don't know, I know he, he wasn't an actor before, but he had that old Hollywood sense about him. I think when you watch that, you realize he could have been a movie star. Yeah. He could have been an actor. He could have been a comedian. It just It's getting the opportunity. But at the same time, uh, the longevity that he had in his career, 50 years to run, you know, as a game show host. I mean, that was, and a really good one. That was a really fun one because you got to see crazy people jumping up and down. Lines. <laughs> I mean, the, that yeah. ran for years. It was a really fun show. And he was really witty and great with the people. And he was the, a guy like, very much like I felt like Johnny Carson. Yes. A guy that you're, you can just sit back and relax and you know what you're going to get. And it's fun every time. And, uh, it's a, it was a tremendous career. A lot of people, I mean, a 50-year career. Can you do the same I, thing? Really hurt, it, Rob, could you do the same thing I'm, for 50 I, years? I, I, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it depends. I mean, I think that was a very high, well-paid gig. I think he liked it. But I think he had, you know, I think when you get 80, that's enough. And the, seeing him, how gracefully he retired, reminded me of Johnny Carson or Jay Leno or David Letterman. These are the kind of guys that it, it's just – that air is gone forever. But it was so nice to to see him actually have part of his dream come true about being an actor, at least in one movie that will be remembered forever. Yeah, and Rob, we learned this morning that Rachel was once one of those contestants. I, she, I was. <laughs> she sweared she wouldn't scream like a crazy person. Yeah, how far but did she you did. go? I did, and I kissed him on the cheek because, you know, that's what you did. And uh, look at her, that woman right there. Like, it, it was really exciting to meet him in person, and I'll tell you, he was so gracious and nice. He asked how far you went. She got on stage, Rob. She, she, she spun the, the dial. Yeah, I almost made it to the showcase showdown. Didn't make the showdown. Wow. And so uh, that was the amazing thing to me was the, the giving away of this stuff. I mean, <laughs> everybody, we'd watch this and your mom and dad go, well, what would you do if you got that, the tra tractor trailer <laughs> or it was, you know, I, it was given away or like, that I new stove. Nova, what would we do I want a stove. I, mean, I, I want a stove and a trip to Brazil. <laughs> By the way, Rob, one interesting thing about Bob is that he was an animal activist and he, you know, they were giving away furs and he said, you know what, I can't be part of this. And they stopped giving away fur coats on, um, on the show because of his, you know, hmm. devotion to animals and animal rights. He did that early. Yeah, yeah I know he, uh, he was very much into uh, neutering the, your pets and making sure <laughs> yeah. that there's not an overpopulation out there. Well, he's a good guy, and yeah. I'm just glad that. And for other people to watch it, there's a there's a clip on YouTube about with Adam Sandler in a hospital bed with it, Bob's in the hospital bed, and that was another, and it was just as funny. So you guys, it's a much more obscure 
one than the Happy Gilmore oh. scene, but it's really funny. So <laughs> if people want to have a good laugh, they can look at that this morning. Well, speaking of funny, uh, and, and again, we remember mm. uh, Bob Barker this morning. May he rest in peace. People can also get tickets for your comedy tour that's ongoing, robschneider.com. Where are you going to be next? Where am I going to be? I'm going to be in McAllen, Texas, and I'm going to uh, be in Corpus Christi, Texas, the McAllen Arts Center and uh, the uh, Selena Auditorium. There you go. All right. Great. Bobschneider.com. Okay. Can't wait for him to come. You have to come East Coast and let us know. We all yeah. want to go. We'll do, we'll do, Rachel. And you look good blonde, by the way. Don't, don't give up on that. Okay. <laughs> I like that clip. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Will. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.